Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, this is our new series where I'll teach you how to recreate movie titles inside of After Effects. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Right now in After Effects version 2020 and today movie is Mirzapur season 2 and it will be releasing on Amazon Prime on 23rd of October. So when I saw this intro I decided let's recreate this intro and let's make it as a series and you guys are so much excited after watching that trailer. So to create this amazing intro inside of After Effects you need to obviously need a new composition. Just click here and name it like uh, Mirzapur and then just press OK. Now guys, we are in composition and I don't have a specific font of this uh, text. So I decided to create the text font from this image. So if you notice, I have this image where Mirzapur text is there in white. So just create a mask over there, something like that. And then click here, go to layer and then auto trace. And after that, when the auto trace will come, it will something look like this. So it will automatically trace alpha and then just simply press OK. So now you can see, we have a specific mask, just done of this one. Now we have this mask. Now if you notice very clearly what happened, some mask areas are not like uneven shapes and all. If you notice it clearly, see these areas are not good. These areas also not good. So you have to refine your mask and then you can go for it. So now the refinement is done. Now you can delete this layer of image and uh, just right click new solid and let's take it like a element. 3D and then just press OK. So this is our element 3D layer. Go here, right click, video copilot and then element. Now go to this custom layers and here is a custom text and mask and custom texture map. So you have to go to this custom text and mask and from here path layer one, you should select this auto traced. You can rename it from here. It's completely up to you. Then just press scene setup. Now inside of scene setup, you have to click this extrude button. So now what happened, you will get your own Mirzapur text. It's a really amazing way to create any text from any image. Now the main thing of this tutorial is this texture of this text. Now if you notice clearly the texture of the text was like golden, completely like rusty kind of golden. So I have a preset from here, like physical, I have this gold option, just double click here. So now it's completely a gold plated Mishrapur text. Now I have to create some cool textures in it. Just click here, go to this gold. And now you have to add some diffuse glossiness and all to create a rusty kind of gold and all. Now go to glossiness and I have some specific textures for this specific tutorial and I'm selecting like metal grunge printed some this one and I'm just decreasing these things to create a, some cool bumpiness here. So it's let's take around it should it's completely up to you how you can so you can see some black patches are visible here just press OK and let's decrease the glossiness value so let's take around 31 now you have to paste the same thing to this reflection also so just right click copy and right click paste now I have to go to this normal bump and for the bump I have the bump map for this textures as well so just click here load texture and I'm selecting like this one. Now you can see this is specific bump is visible here. So let's decrease the bump value to let's take around 40. So now you can see a specific cool reflection is visible here. Now to make it more realistic, more precise, just go to this model option and go to this UV and I'm just improving this UV repeat to let's take around one to five by five. Now you can see this metal are look just amazing. It's very sharp and crispy, you know. Now talking about some environment, I'm selecting let's take around this one or this one to create some cool lighting and metallic effect here. Now you're all done for go. Now just press OK here. So now you can find out your own Mirzapur logo and turn off this background one. Now you can select a right and a new camera and selecting like a 35 mm and then just press OK. Now you have to do a basic camera animation. So just press P and shift A to get the point of interest and points. Just click here and let's go to take around like 10 seconds. Press N, right click, trim to comp area and go to this last frame and just zoom it little bit something like that now you can see our basic animation is done now if you notice we have a specific rotation something like that and when it's rotating here the new text will be coming from here it's completely a basic transition so i'll teach you how to do this now this is a very tricky part so just click the text button and you have to type like 23rd dot 10 dot 20 so this is our like dates now go to this element 3d layer and from here you can find the text mask and layer 2 just from here click this 23rd this one and turn off this text layer and go to again go to the scene setup now you can click this extrude button you just turn off this background one you can find the same miserable logo again but 
when you click this extrude model here and go to this custom path from custom path 1 to 2 it will suddenly change to this 23rd of this text one and now you have to increase the shape just click this turn this on and I have to increase this one so I'm just increasing it to fit so guys now if you notice our shape height width and the depth is also same like the beside layer so just turn off this one and you can find this text layer here. Now you have to paste the same texture to this one as well. So go to the scene materials, you can find your gold option. Just double click here. So it will apply to this also. Again, you have to go to the extrude model and you have to increase this UV repeat to five by five to make it something really amazing, this one. Now it's changed to this 23rd of 10 and all. Just click this element 3D layer. I have to duplicate this, so control D for duplicate and you can rename it like element 3D underscore like text. Now click this main element 3D, go to the scene setup and you can delete this one and turn this one on. So now what happened, we have both like the previous one and the current one as well. Now the animation part. First of all, I have to turn this off the first one and click this element 3D. Now go to this group one and go to this particle replicator rotation. We have only Y rotation here, but if you notice the entire text is rotating from here. So for that, what you have to do, just have to go to the particle look and if you notice the multi object is there just have to turn on this multi object now if you notice you have this y rotation if you rotate it in y axis it will rotate on individual separate separate text in their individual axis now the same settings we have to apply for this one also just click here go to this group one go to this particle look and then multi object and turn this on and now you have this one also available. Now we are in first layer and just turn this on this Y rotation and for this we need to rotate it in Y axis. So first I'll make it to like 90. So now what happened this takes star on this direction. Now the, if you notice if you now you have now go to few frames something like that. Now go to few frames and uh, it's let's make it like zero. So now what happened, this text are moving from this direction to this area. Now press U to this layer to find out your specific keyframes. Now this will be stick on few frames, something like that. And then after it will start rotating. So until here, I'm just click again a keyframe here, something like that. And then after that, just move few frames, something here, and then just make it to 90. So now what happened, this text are again rotating on this direction so what means it's rotating from this direction to front and then front to this area this is fine now you have to come with this layer just turn this on and again you have to click this y here just go to the first frame click this y button and press u to find out your keyframe and the, drag the keyframe to the last of this keyframe area and just make it something like that and after that we have to rotate this 23rd the text layer also from this direction to like 90 so the both angles axis are exactly same now move it few frames and make it to zero and you have to turn this opacity off to this layer so just go here turn both of the opacities by pressing shift t to find out the opacity here as well and just turn on this opacity values here and after that in this area make sure we have to disable this opacity to 100% to 0 on this part and this area should be like 100% now if you move here something like that if you notice the transitions are looking little bit weird I know to make this happening a very good way you have to play with some opacities and all so guys after playing with some opacities and transitions and all this will be our final output should be look like in first frame and turn off opacity so let's show you the keyframes so this is our first frame where opacity is 0 and when it goes a few frames it will start turning and after some times it will hold here and then it start rotating and again inside of rotation now the basic things you know about like uh, like ambient occlusion the lighting setups and all to create a more realistic way and i hope you guys will understand what i'm trying to show you by using this video in this final output i have done some couple of things if you notice some particles here is visible here so for the creation of this particle it's very easy to create i have one cool particle here this is a cool fire reflections and all so what i'll do I'll just select this, go to this toggle layer and from here I'm just making like like a uh, add. So what happened, it will add on this scene and now to, this is very sharp and bright but we no need to this. So you have to go to the right click, color corrections and then curves. So you have to adjust some curve values, I'm just decreasing it colors and increasing the contrast and make it the blue little bit down and after adjusting and all I'm adding just a Gaussian blur here so it will look something like that.
and this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this amazing movie recreating intro tutorial inside of after effects and guys if you want that i will continue the series of movie recreating intros then let me comment in this comment section below and before closing this video if you watched till here you should press the like button also you can dislike it's completely up to you and if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below right now we are in telegram as well telegram link is in description box also okay guys i'll see you in my next video till then have Stay healthy, keep rocking, keep watching. Fear fear.